So we have all seen the countless unboxing of the new iPhones. Let's skip that part and start talking about the nuts and bolts of the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Damn. Bonjour my fellow high-tech fans and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back for another high-tech review. All of my statements are shot with the iPhone 11 Pro Max without any microphone so you can hear the quality sound and of course the video quality as well. Now let's see if the first Pro iPhone earns the upgrade. Pro often means better processors and bigger displays. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has the same processor as the iPhone 11, but its display is better. First of all, you should know that I'm coming from an iPhone 8 Plus and an iPhone 6S Plus. I don't like to change iPhones every year as I really don't have the money and I also want to have the wow effect with all of the improvements and new options. This video isn't a tour of review, we will discover more of the phone together in my soon to come videos of the new iPhone. Why the iPhone 11 Pro Max? While iPhone 11 at $699 or €809 Euros is a great value and will satisfy, I'm sure, a lot of buyers, I wanted to have the dynamic OLED display compared with the iPhone 11's LCD screen. You will love the high precision display calibration and color accuracy. I never like to play video games on my phones because of the poor quality compared to a console. But with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's incredible. I was also looking forward to the third lens on the iPhone 11 Pro Max for telephoto zoom, which the iPhone 11 lacks, and of course, the improvement of the battery life. Talking about the third lens, let's start using the cameras and see the differences with the old iPhones. If you love taking photos, you're going to enjoy the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's see the three lenses in full action. In addition to the standard 26mm wide lens, there's the 52mm telephoto lens, which has been upgraded to a wider 2.0 aperture, allowing in much more light in the photo. And la cerise sur le gâteau, the cherry on the cake of this phone for me is a spectacular new 2.4 13mm ultra wide lens with a 120 degree field of view. Compared to the older models, the experience with the app is more pro friendly. It feels more like the interface of a real camera compared to the previous app. The photos I'm taking on the iPhone 11 Pro Max are clearly sharper, brighter, it looks very professional than the older iPhone 8 Plus photos of the same scenes or subjects. The iPhone 11 Pro now has the ability to zoom in twice optically and zoom out twice optically. Let me explain what an optical zoom is. So before on the other iPhones, the zoom was digital, meaning the camera enlarges the image area at the center of the frame and trims away the outside edges of the picture. The result is the same as when you open an image in your photo editing program, crop away the edges of the picture and then enlarge the remaining portion of the photo. Optical zoom uses magnifying lenses to get you a much closer up view of a scene than you'd see with your eyes. You don't lose quality images nor see the pixels with an optical zoom. The new iPhone 11 Pro Max is equipped with a new feature called Night Mode, which is designed to take crisp, clear photos even when lighting conditions are poor, such as at night. How does it work? The new wide-angle camera in the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro models are equipped with a larger sensor that is able to let in more light. The photos are brighter even when the light is low. Now let's talk about the video. <laughs> All three cameras can take 4K 60 video now and if you record in anything less than 60 frames per second, you can switch between the wide and ultra wide lenses with no color shifts or exposure changes, which is 
Super sympa. Impressive. Each camera in the triple camera system records brilliant 4K video with extended dynamic range and cinematic video stabilization. The battery life. Apple claims to have added an extra 4 to 5 hours battery life compared to its previous models. So far, I can say that the iPhone 11 Pro Max is definitely lasting longer on the charge. I have used it all day starting at 8 a.m watching YouTube and Netflix video, playing video games, listening to music and posting videos and photos on social medias and, of course, talking on the phone. I still had more than 20% of battery life before going to bed at 11 p.m. and I used it again the next day until early afternoon. That's when the battery died. So if you want or need maximum battery life, then that's one of the main reasons you should go for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. In the past few years, Apple has been the only company to ship its expensive phones without a fast charger in the box. Today, if you buy the iPhone Pro, you get a 18 watt wall adapter with a USB-C connection on one end and Apple's lightning port on the other end connecting to the iPhone. So how fast is it charging? It gives you close to a 50% charge in half an hour on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And in 45 minutes, you get 70% charge. About the audio. The iPhone 11 Pro speakers are loud and the sound is better than ever. The iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro now have something called spatial audio. It's a virtual surround decoder. It gives you an immersive surround sound experience. Ah, oh, look at that! And when you're using the video option, you can easily zoom between each of the three cameras while audio zoom matches the audio to the video framing for more dynamic sound. There is more to talk about, the haptic touch, the slow motion selfie called the slow fees. We'll talk about this subject and many more in the next video. If you have any other questions about the new iPhone, please let me know in the comment section down on su below. Thanks for watching. And before you leave, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button just down on su below. And if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel. Take good care of yourselves. I will see you very soon. C'est promis. Salut. Oh, Céline, mais tu racontes n'importe quoi, Annie. Oh là là, t es, t es... toi, t'es vraiment fatiguée. Hein?